time already, huh? What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. Can't get to the circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Vesemir ever hear you impersonate him? <laughs> yeah. Savola's Breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamandra assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. We gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, color me impressed. Where'd you learn them tricks? It's an art. Learned it from this old master down in Zeracania. <sighs> yada yada. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? Seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm-hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it! I moored it right here, I swear! Line must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. Damn it. In this fog, we'll never... There a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Hmm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes.
Water hag. Great. Last thing we needed. All right. Cave entrance is just opposite. See it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old Speartip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat, not up for discussion. Make this boat yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. Barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Want to hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside... Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Sheesh, you're pricklier than Yen. Ugh, don't fall in love with me. Let's go. Help! Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's got to be an illusion. What if it's not? <sighs> Whatever you want to do. You're probably right. Let's go straight to the cave. Finally, something reasonable. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh! You fat fuck! One, two, three! You're no feather either. Come on, let's go.
Hmm. Wall looks a little shaky. Art, mind not stomping like that. Relax. I slipped. Something fell in my eye. A splinter, I think. Hope it wasn't from a broken mirror. That'd make you even nastier. Ha ha. Ugh. Place reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of uh, violets? So soft and sweet. Just sleep in there. Makes you want to make this moat. Just lost the element of surprise. You couldn't care less. I'm up for the trip. You gonna live? Uh, probably. Let's get out of here. Wait, that's for Voltaire, you whore son. <laughs> you finished? Let's move. Oh, good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. Huh. <laughs> Look who's talking. Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilf guardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing monsters. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. Come on. Ha! <laughs> See him shit and run soon as he saw us? Mm -hmm. Never known a troll to do that. Ooh. Which us is too. Walk no more. The stops? Uh, East Mountain. Trolley Mountain. Troll Mountain. Huh? Oh. Uh, hi! This Troll Mountain. Ah. Uh, you talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is his thing one say, thing two do, thing three do, sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? Mm-hmm, they understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave, before they stone us to death. We 
rock throws. Yours goes no far more. Which of these? Understand it? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the Circle of Elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come no to Witchesy Castle. Rock Slotfler. Pretty rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause, uh, it's not getting us anywhere. Yeah, gonna have to agree to disagree. Finally. My brain's gonna ooze out of my ears if I have to listen to this bullshit any longer. All right, calcites and dolomites. Who wants to taste some witch's silver? I, you say. No shit trusty witches. Just a few steps more, and we're there. Oh, that's some serious panting. Out of breath, out of shape. What about those is that you actually have. Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? Ha! <laughs> Fair enough. But save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. How'd it go? Water, then earth, then air? All right. Phylactery's in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh yeah, used Axie. But I only had to get past one troll, other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Yeah, Axie's useful. And dangerous. <laughs> what makes you say that? It tempts you to overuse it. Force a merchant to reduce his price, make an arrogant noble drink from the gutter. Teach someone to show you respect. Can become hard to resist. I don't. Life's too short. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to Kaer Morhen. Think it's that bad being a Witcher? Guess I could have been someone worse. Just a shame I had no choice. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Didn't know. I'm sorry. Next time you wonder why I'm so bitter. Well, there's your answer. Alright. 
We've griped enough. Let's get out of here. Right. Let's get back. After you, sir. Okay, my bad guys. I don't know how long my mic was muted. Uh, so I just did a whole commentary to myself, essentially, because my mic was muted. Uh, but this episode had a lot of dialogue, and so I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to worry about... Um, I'm not going to worry about re-recording this episode. So this episode will be a no-com. Sorry about that. Uh, and sorry if there was a random spike that you could hear like a YouTube video, because I don't know what happened. Like, my my laptop just like opened, it like restored a web page, and then it started playing, not through my headphones, and I don't know what happened there. But, so this episode was just a clusterfuck of failures. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, and uh, I'll be back next episode with commentary. So